Ever since Alpha 1 has ended, people have been waiting for what is next. With Alpha 2 coming out at some point in 2024, some speculation out there on what we can expect for the launch of Alpha 2 is pretty wild. And then there are the people who don't really understand how Alpha 2 is actually dropping next year and expect a delay because they don't see it possible for Intrepid to give us the game in a playable state within that time frame. But there is a very big difference on what we can expect from the start of Alpha 2 compared to what will be added down the road as the testing progresses through the current stages. And honestly, we really have no idea what we're going to see in the start, but based off what Intrepid has shown us, it's not going to be what the majority of people seem to expect. If you head over to the Ashes of Creation wiki and search Alpha 2, you'll see a pretty outdated list for the most part on confirmed features for Alpha 2. From biomes to class archetypes to augments and beyond, the list of what we will see is pretty extensive. But as I've said before, that does not mean that every single item on this list is going to be in the start of Alpha 2, and honestly, probably not even a fraction of this list is going to be playable at the start. Starting with the map and the zones. In the live stream the last year and a half, 99% of what we have seen for biomes is the Riverlands and content within the Riverlands. And based off how the fact that most of the content we have seen has Carfin in it, whether it's some distant shot or whatever, we can pretty much decipher that we really haven't seen more than just the eastern and a little bit of the central part of this biome. We know that as of the March stream, the human starting area within the ruins of Ayla in the bottom center of the map had really just begun getting put together and was filled with a bunch of gray boxes at the time. So the zone I imagine isn't really close to completion, which is okay because a zone is expected to be around 60 to 70% complete for Alpha 2 and not 100%. But this is the only biome that we have seen even close to this percent. That doesn't mean they aren't done, but there is no evidence that anything beyond the Riverlands is in fact ready for players to jump into. We don't know though. We do know that eventually next to the Riverlands, we can expect the Badlands and the desert, the tropics, the forest, the tabletop mounds, some tundra region, and ocean content to all join into the Alpha 2 testing, as confirmed by Steven in the community Q&A at the beginning of the year. He also stated that we will start freehold testing in the tropics, desert, and riverland, but did not state that this would happen at the launch of Alpha 2. Which leads me to believe that when Alpha 2 officially launches, it will start out with just the riverlands. Intrepid is going to want to get more focused testing, so honestly, this makes sense to do. Put everyone in the larger zone to start, it'll give them a great start on testing server stability, then players can spread out into the three available nodes that we know of, and really make sure the basics of Ashes of Creation are functioning properly before they expand the world a bit. The majority of everything we've seen has been Kalar human focused. From the character creator to the armor and the architecture, there has been a bit of Vec and Pyro thrown into the mix, but it's mostly been Kalar humans. So chances are, the only starting area we'll be jumping into at the start will be the Ruins of Ayla. This not only gives Intrepid time to work on those core systems, it allows them to open up the world in a way that makes sense, which I imagine based off the Freehold comments would eventually go from just the Riverlands to branching out into the tropics and the desert on both sides, slowly opening opening the world up and building north and allowing Intrepid to get specific testing on specific areas, dungeons, raids, and features within those areas because you don't want to turn on nodes for five zones before you're even sure they're going to work properly for one zone, which could lead to a larger issue. We know that the level cap will be up to 35 in Alpha 2, but in the presentation, Steven hasn't shown us any content past level 15, which may give us a sign of node progression at the start, which I imagine will be village max as we saw in the node live stream. There are no level specific zones in Ashes of Creation. The more challenging content is based off your distance from nearby nodes and that node level. The higher the node, the more challenging content that gets unlocked. And in Alpha 1, the level cap was level 15, and the max node stage was Village. So those two could be tied together, and that's why we haven't seen anything beyond level 15 content so far from Steven. And perhaps when Intrepid is ready to introduce the next node stage beyond that, the level cap goes up as well. But biomes and leveling content are only half the battle, because because we also know that we are not going to see the summoner archetype, leaving out one of the eight primary archetypes. The bard is also said to be seen before Alpha 2, but this is subject to change, and there's been no mention of the bard in months. We know class augment will be minimal in Alpha 2, and potentially absent at the start, and one of the largest chunks of content, being naval content, will also not be in Alpha 2 to start. Which really isn't a concern. This video isn't about the fact that things will be missing, because they will be added when time goes on. It's about managing our expectations, because unfortunately, no matter how many videos
videos content creators make, such as myself, no matter how many times Steven says Alpha 2 is not a complete product, it's still going to be misconstrued. Players and viewers currently do and will continue to have extremely high expectations on what to expect from Alpha 2, when in reality, a lot of what people think will be in there at the start of this testing experience probably won't actually be in there. Alpha 2 is not going to be a quick test. It's going to be persistent and Intrepid is going to take its time to make the MMORPG players want that also meets with Intrepid's vision. So with that being said, when Alpha 2 actually launches, at some point next year, I predict that this will start with just the Riverlands, with the human starting zone, basic season cycles, and various story arcs to progress in. For races, I imagine we'll start with the Kalar, the Vec, and the Pyre, as those are the ones we've seen the most. We know the Pyre is quote-unquote Alpha 2 ready, as Steven said last year. We have seen a lot more of the Vec as well. I'm willing to bet that we're only going to see six out of eight archetypes to start with no augments, and the two excluded will be the Summoner and the Bard. I just don't see the Bard coming out before Alpha 2 at this rate. We have heard nothing on it in a long time. They seem to be going back into an other class previews that we've previously seen, and we haven't seen anything on the Rogue either, or technically the Fighter beyond the no UI melee combat showcase, which was more meant to showcase the combat and not the Fighter archetype. I also expect to see nodes to Stage 3, Freeholds, minimal guild features, and part of the artisan system. And I imagine that will be the focus. Beyond that, everything else will be dripped into testing as Intrepid sees fit, and as these features hit a more complete stage. We are not going to see all the content thrown out at once at us because it just wouldn't make sense for testing. And as more gets added, I would not be surprised if previous content gets removed to keep the focus on specific features and specific areas. But again, this is just my speculation. None of this is confirmed. Let me know what you guys think. Are people's Alpha 2 expectations? way too high comment below and be sure to click that subscribe button hit that thumbs up and stay tuned for a lot more to come